Hi, um, this is Claire Tanhauser, jewelry designer, um, gemologist, and owner of the Moon Tree Boutique. I am just hopping on here for a second today to talk about um, my origin story. I often get asked how I got into the business, and um, I guess this is how. I've always loved jewelry. <clears throat> I've always been like a very crafty person and loved doing art projects and when I was a kid, I would, you know, love doing like the little friendship bracelets and the plastic beads, nothing fancy, but I always loved adornment and making stuff. Um, fast forward to college. I went to the College of Santa Fe in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I was studying art history and fine art. And um, I wanted to get a job, wanted a little bit of life experience and some folding money so I ended up going into this incredible store in Santa Fe, New Mexico called Natural Stones. And they sell crystals and um, gemstones, a lot of jewelry supply, beads, faceted stones, cabochons. And I was blown away, I was obsessed. Um, I just completely fell in love. And luckily for me, the owner of the store um, Took, took a shine to me and basically allowed me, despite really not knowing anything, to come start working in the store and training. And so all while I was in college, I worked um, part-time at the store and full-time in the summers and I, I loved it. Um, ultimately, the owner, Garrick Beck, um, who's an amazing man, very gregarious and knowledgeable, tons of experience in the business, essentially became my mentor and um, the lessons I learned from him even though I haven't really worked for him for a long time I mean I think about them every day and despite having a bunch of degrees in my field and a ton of experience like that mentorship is essentially um, what gave me the leg up that I needed in this business it's it's really hard to break in so that experience, those contacts were completely invaluable to me. Um, so while I was working there and finishing up college, I um, started getting my graduate degree basically um, at the Gemological Institute of America, GIA. They're sort of like the leader in um, gemstone education. And I started out uh, doing like their distance education. So most of my classes were online, but I would have to go to the um, Manhattan branch of the school to take all of my tests and do my labs. And so I completed colored stones, which was really easy for me because I already knew most of the information from working at the store. But then I went on, I wanted to complete the whole program so I went on to complete my diamonds, um, diamond grading, all of the classes pertaining to diamonds. And those were much harder for me because I wasn't particularly interested in diamonds and I didn't have any experience with diamonds. So um, ultimately I completed all of that as well through uh, their distance education and then going back and forth to the campus in New York. Um, the school's based in Carlsbad, but they have a satellite school in Manhattan where I would go um, and take all of my classes or my labs and my tests and stuff like that. So I completed that program and uh, really enjoyed that. It was incredibly hard, but very rewarding. Um, meanwhile, in the midst of that, across from Natural Stones, the shop I worked at in Santa Fe, this little studio store uh, became available. It was tiny, like 600 square feet or something like that, like teeny tiny. So I opened a little uh, store, Moon Tree Boutique, um, where I sold basically my finished jewelry, um, some of my friends' artwork and jewelry. And then I also sold like vintage items, purses and vintage clothing. Um, and I really enjoyed that. I think I had the store for like six or eight years, but um, I, was, I was kind of done with Santa Fe. The winters there are very cold and very long and I wanted to um, move somewhere warmer. I ended up meeting and falling in love with a Georgia boy, so who's now my husband. Um, so I ended up moving to a, a town in Georgia right outside of Atlanta. Sorry, I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes out here, but 
Um, and so I kept Moon Tree Boutique going even after I closed the physical location. So I have a website and I do shows all around the Southeast. And I also have my work on consignment in a couple different shops and places buy my work wholesale and then resell it. So I've managed to continue doing this even without a, a location, physical location. Um, I have a bunch of upcoming shows in North Carolina. So this month I will be in um, Charlotte, North Carolina and Spruce Pine, which is like up in the mountains. Um, yeah, and I have some, some local shows going on in Marietta, Georgia. So I, I travel around sort of South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia and do shows and um, I love it. I've been doing this, I'm 40 now and I got into the business I think when I was 19. So it's, I've been doing this for a long time. And I love it. I'm, I never stop being interested in gemstones. And I think that's the key to my success and the longevity of my career is I'm genuinely extremely interested in this stuff. I love um, learning all about how the gemstones form in the earth and also the business as a whole. Like it's so dynamic watching um, new finds in different countries and then watching that material um, come to the market and change the value of that same material that might come from other places, just watching basically the supply and the demand in the market. And I love doing gem shows. I love having colleagues that are from all over the world who are also super passionate about gems and minerals. Um, I have a YouTube page, which I really enjoy. It's all free educational content, tutorials about how to make jewelry. And also I have a series called Ask a Gemologist where you can drop a question and I'll make an in-depth um, video response about the science, the history, and the folklore of different gemstones. Granted, I am coming from more of um, a, a science background. So I talk a lot about the business and the science of stones, but I dip my toe a little bit into the history and what some of the metaphysical attributes of things are, but that's less my area of interest and expertise. Um, yeah, and I do like unboxing videos about gemstones, lots of hot tips and tricks about the being in the business. But if you have a question, um, drop it in the comment below and I will answer it for you. I love being in the gem and mineral business. I love being a self-employed um, business owner and jewelry designer. And thank you so much for watching and getting to know me. Um, you can check out my Etsy page. It's moontreeboutique.etsy.com. I'm Moon Tree Boutique on YouTube, on Instagram, Moon Tree Boutique. Uh, Facebook, I'm Moon Tree Gemologist. I do have a like a business page that's Moon Tree Boutique, but I'm easy to find. Um, I love being of service to curious minds out there about gems and minerals. So let me know if you have any questions, any ideas for future videos. Thanks for watching.